Since the new twig update, everyone is going to be using ladders to get to the top of your base. Even if your base has a skirt, you can just place floors and then ladder on those. But what if the base is surrounded by high external stone walls? First of all, take a step back and build a tower out of twig. Make sure there are no turrets or shotgun traps that are going to absolutely massacre you when you jump in. So you can't ladder up the high external stone gate either. These have also been buffed. The barbed wire on the top actually hurts you and they've added more barbed wire to the sides. It's pretty difficult to scale without taking a ton of damage. It might seem like you're able to ladder up on the front and squeeze through the gap, but it's just too small, you can't fit through it. Also, the top barbed wire will hurt you if you try. But if the owner is stupid enough, they'll place the wrong side facing outwards, and then you can easily ladder up it. Each piece of gear provides a little bit of slash damage, which is the type of damage you receive when trying to climb over the high walls. So when you try to go over naked, you're going to take a lot more damage than if you had gear on. After equipping a full gear set, I'm left with 30 HP more than when I went over the wall naked. When you're naked, the initial damage of a high wall does about 30 HP. But after getting geared up, I only take about 23 damage. The wolf headdress actually provides the biggest slash bonus in the game, with 80. followed by a suit of heavy armor and leather boots. Notice I didn't even use one syringe and I was left with about as much health as a normal gear set. So when you're climbing over these things using ladders, you really just need to watch out for these metal bars sticking out. Try to climb over on the biggest gap of metal bars, which is usually right here in the middle of the wall. So build a twig foundation pretty high up so you can save a ladder. And then slap the ladder with one side adjacent to one of the metal poles. This will give you room to run off at the top of the ladder and be able to move in between the poles. If you're going to place the ladder on the right side, just have the left side of the ladder be adjacent to the pole. So when you're at the top of the ladder, run off into the gap and then you'll easily slide through over to the other side. With full gear on, it's possible to do it without using a syringe, but you should probably syringe when needed. The same thing applies when walls are stacked. Place the ladders adjacent to a pole, but when you're in between two walls, be very careful. You can take double the initial damage, around 65 health, when you're in between two walls. So you want to be at full health the whole time, whenever you can.
If the high walls are placed directly on the base, you can just slap a ceiling and then ladder right up without taking any damage at all. Horizontally stacked high walls are pretty difficult to get through, but you can still do it. The key is whenever you have a break, heal up to 100. And it's as easy as that. Remember the high wall deals initial damage very high, but when you're walking on it, it doesn't do too much. So just be careful of that initial 35 hit you're gonna take. 